I am passionate about old family photographs and no matter how many I find, I always want to find more. But is it possible? Absolutely. In this video, I'm going to show you some places you may not be looking when it comes to finding your ancestors' photographs. Hey guys, if we haven't met, I'm Lisa, a genealogy researcher and author, and this YouTube channel is all about helping you find your ancestors, grow that family tree, and well, not be overwhelmed in the process. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, you are in the right place. Now let's get to talking more about the where to find our ancestors' old photographs. Now, as genealogy researchers, we want to know what our ancestors looked like, right? We spend a lot of time digging into their past. What did they look like? But really, maybe the more important question that we're really thinking in the back of our minds is, do I look like my ancestors? Which one do I look like? Well, to know if we look like our ancestors, we have to actually find a photograph of our ancestors, right? So let's get started finding those old family photographs. Now, the first place that you're going to want to look is with your family. Now, I know you're going to say, but Lisa, I don't have any family or I've already asked all my family members. You're not off the hook yet. Of course, you want to ask those your relatives, but Go beyond the ones that you actually know. Reach out to those distant cousins. You know, those cousins that you would hear kind of, you would hear about at the family reunion, but you didn't necessarily know. Reach out to those cousins that you maybe you only meet every few years at a family reunion. But reach out to them and see what they might have. Because just because your family doesn't have the old family photographs, they didn't come down your particular family line, they very well may have come down someone else's. The second place to go look for those old family photographs is actually at those online family trees. Now, I got to give you a word of caution here, and this is important, guys. When we find a photograph of our ancestor in someone else's family tree, take a little time and make sure that this truly is identified correctly and is your ancestor. I would recommend that reach out to the person who originally posted that particular photograph. Where did it come from? Are they sure that's who they, they think it is? What other information might they have on your ancestor? Because if your ancestor's photograph is in their family tree, they very well might have other information that you guys can then share. The third place to go look, state and county archives. Now the archives have photograph collections and your ancestors might be among those photographs. Now some of those collections may be online. I am seeing more of those these days but yet others will not be online. I encourage you to reach out to the archivist and ask them the best way to search their photographic collections for your ancestors. Let me ask you a quick question. Have you guys found a family photograph or an ancestor's photograph in an unusual location? If so, let me know in the comments because I love to learn from you guys and your experience as well. Now, yearbooks are another great place to look for your ancestors' photographs. And we're lucky because many yearbooks are actually being digitized and put online. One such example is the yearbook collection at Digital NC. College and high school yearbooks dating back to the 1890s can be found there. And large genealogy databases like Ancestry and Find My Past also have yearbook collections. And additionally, check the local libraries and local historical societies for where your ancestors lived for their yearbook collections as well. Orphan photo websites are another good resource for you to check for your ancestors. Deadfred.com is a free orphan photo website. You can search by location, you can search by surname, you can even search by the photographers who took the photographs. So I would encourage you to check over there or at one of the other orphan photo sites to see if your ancestor's photograph might have been orphaned out there. It might be out there just waiting for you to find. Now, sadly, sometimes our old photos, our old family photos, end up on online auction sites. So you want to include online auction sites like eBay in your search for your family photos. Now, published family histories on specific family lines also may contain not only really great genealogical information, but also photographs of our ancestors. Early in my own personal research, a fellow researcher pointed me in the direction of a published family history. In that book, I actually found photographs of my third great grandparents. It was a thrill as a new genealogy researcher to be able to find these photographs. And better yet, that book 
was three miles from my home. Now don't overlook the power of doing a Google image search. Type in your ancestor's name and click on the images results and you can start to see if a photograph of your ancestor is out there that you can perhaps find. I've already shared with you eight places to look for ancestors photographs and this number nine, this ninth one is one of my favorites and that is the vertical files at the local library. You never know exactly what you're going to find in a vertical file. Often in these vertical files, you can find things like directories, church histories, church directories. Those are valuable to your genealogy research. And you can also even find other genealogist research notes that have been donated. And among those genealogy notes, sometimes you find copies of photographs. So this is a great place. I always, always, always check the local library when I do on-site county research and I ask them about their vertical files as well while I'm there because I don't want to miss any possibility of finding a photograph or a tidbit for my genealogy research. Another favorite thing for me to seek out when it comes to looking for old family photographs, I just touched on in vertical files, but that is church directories. Think of them as yearbooks for the churches, but local churches of all sizes, large and small, would periodically create a, a church history or a church directory with photographs of all the members as well as the past members or founding members. These are valuable when it comes to looking for photographs of your ancestors. So you want to ch check for those. Now to find those church directories, if the church is still in existence, check with the church. They will have them, obviously. If they are no longer in existence or if they have perhaps merged with another church, you can check with those church offices. Additionally, check with the local library and local historical societies for copies of those church directories. If you want to learn more about how to find and identify the individuals in your old family photographs, watch this video on your screen, how to identify who is in your old family photos for your next steps.